The Karma Carnival. Hello, and welcome to Tutoring Hours Karma Carnival. I'm Captain Karma, and I'm here to teach you the basic rules of using a karma. Let's get started. Our first stop is in the items in the series tent. Take a look at this sentence strip. To separate these items, we need to use commas. Let's add them. Bianca is buying tickets to ride the Ferris wheel, the roller coaster, and the carousel. Easy peasy. Next, we have the adjective extravaganza tent. Here is our sentence strip. We need to use commas to separate these delightful adjectives. The thrilling, breathtaking, and exhilarating rides blew Bianca's mind. Up next is the coordinating conjunction pageant tent. Let's look at the sentence strip. Can you spot the two independent clauses? Yes, Henry is on the pirate ship is our first independent clause, and Kylie is on the scrambler is the second independent clause. The coordinating conjunction AND joins the two clauses. We need to add a comma before the coordinating conjunction. The sentence will look like this. Henry is on the pirate ship, and Kylie is on the scrambler. Now, folks, we're entering the dependent and independent clauses coaster tent. Strap in! Our sentence strip is here. Can you identify the dependent clause? When Isabella rode the roller coaster is the dependent clause here. The second part, she screamed at the top of her lungs, is the independent clause. We need to separate the clauses using a comma, making our sentences clear and smooth. The sentence will look like this. When Isabella rode the roller coaster, she screamed at the top of her lungs. Hold on tight, everybody, because we're entering the introductory elements tent. Take a look at the sentence strips. Did you see the introductory words in these sentences? The words wow, yes, and no are introductory words, and we need to use a comma after them to separate them from the rest of the sentence. We are at the tag question gala tent. Take a look at this sentence strip. Do you see that little question at the end? That's a question tag. We need a comma to separate the question tag. Let's add it! We had a blast in the monkey maze, didn't we? Step right up to the direct address delight tent! Take a look at this sentence. Without the comma, one is going to panic about the meaning of the sentence. No, we are not eating one. We need a comma before the direct address. When a speaker names the person they are speaking to, it's called a direct address. We indicate direct address using a comma or commas, depending upon its placement within the sentence. Did you see how not using a comma can create chaos? Welcome to the date and address extravaganza tent. Take a look at the date. We need a comma to separate the day from the year. And this sentence strip has the address. We need a comma to separate the street name from the city. It's like giving directions. Finally, we have the quotation circus tent. Here is our next sentence strip. The comma before said separates the quoted part from the rest of the sentence. It lets us know who said what. And that's a wrap. The fun-filled journey of the comma carnival has come to an end. Commas are the superheroes that bring clarity and style to our sentences. Commas save us from confusion and hilarious misunderstandings. Visit www.tutoringhour.com if you want to put your newfound knowledge of comma rules to the test. Smash the like and subscribe buttons right now if you have not done that yet. Bye bye Until next time, keep calm and comma on!